Yeah. Boom. Hi everybody! Hi Noga! Mm -hmm. about Adel Stark, everybody's favorite honorable person, the most honorable person in Westeros. Well, that's the way he perceives himself and that's what everyone says. Okay, so it must be true. That, so if we judge Ned by his own values and standards, not by our modern 21st century standards, let's use those same values and let's see if he is honorable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, he is not. For Brutus is an honorable man. So are they all, all honorable men. But I don't think that he himself adheres to those same values. Because I think his honor is more flexible and selective than we perceive it. So as usual, we're going to make some book Ned and some show Ned. So let's get this thing going. Ned is the archetypical father figure, the protector, the right. one who takes care of things, right. the one who provides. The educator, he teaches them like the old ways of the North. Mm -hmm. This is how we have always done it. These are our core values. Mm -hmm. He's very straightforward, he doesn't like manipulations, he wants the truth, no lies, no games. It's very simple in that way. He tells it like it is, he follows the law. The king has no true born sons. So, when the king dies... The throne passes to his brother, Lord Stannis. Unless... There is no unless. He is the rightful heir. Nothing can change that. We learn a lot about his values mm. from watching him make comparison between himself, or the northerners in general, and to another people in Westeros. For example? For example, Jaime Lannister. Right. Jaime Lannister, he represents vanity. He's, you know, he's good looking, he likes to show off his uh, fighting skills. Yes, and that is the opposite. I'm sure we'll have a tournament to celebrate the new title, if you accept. <laughs> I don't fight in tournaments. I just want to fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I can do. Ned is the opposite, and also he doesn't like it when Jamie does it because he doesn't uh, respect him, he doesn't appreciate him. Right, so, so Jamie is not honorable. Not honorable. He's very brave, your brother. And your father, too. He didn't deserve to die like that. Nobody deserves to die like that. But you just stood there and watched. Uh, respect is something far more, you know, individualistic. Well, I want you to respect me. Right. It's selfish. It's selfish. And honor. Honor is a lot more about self-sacrifice for the greater good. An right. honorable man is someone who doesn't care is willing to sacrifice his own respect, let's say, in order to take care of the greater good of his own group. And he also hates Jorah. He hates Jorah. He thinks that because Jorah sold two thieves to slavery, he didn't only dishonor himself or his house, he dishonored the entire north. It's very strict. Mormont, you bring us the whispers of a traitor half a world away and call it fact. Jorah Mormont's a slaver, not a traitor. Small difference, I know, to an honorable man. And sure, he is an honorable man. He hates uh, Littlefinger mm -hmm. most of the time because Littlefinger is conniving. Through Ned's objection to Robert's killing of uh, Daenerys. Like wanting to wanting kill her. Wanting to kill her, planning to kill her. We know that he didn't <laughs> finish the job. So we learn a lot about his attitude towards... Uh, Justice. Uh, and that also repeats itself right later on when he tells Cersei, uh, go away because yes. I won't have uh, your children's blood on yes. my hands. Yes. So, okay, 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 okay. So let's, uh, let me piggyback on that. I'm just saying that he has a thing with kids. I don't know what it is, but you know. It sounds weird when you say it like that. His inner child. It's inner not. Child. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let, let me piggyback a little bit mm -hmm. on his objections to kill Daenerys mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, him tipping off uh, Cersei to run away. So Robert makes very good points for the greater good. Mm -hmm. The Dothraki might come here, many people will die. So is Ned being honorable by wanting to protect one child versus uh, an entire realm? Mm -hmm. But he says no, this is dishonorable. So, so he's not always for the greater good. You'll dishonor yourself forever if you do this. Honor? I've got seven kingdoms to rule. One king, seven kingdoms. Do you think honor keeps them in line? Do you think it's honor that's keeping the peace? It's fear, fear and blood. Okay, so let's go to the first time he was dishonorable. He broke the law and rebelled against the king, the mad king, 
okay, it's the Mad King, he was mad, he killed his father and his brother. Okay, so you have an uh, excuse to be a rebel. Okay, whatever. But what really ticks me off is the way that Ned judges Jamie. So he first judges Jamie when he goes into the throne, right, after Jamie killed the Mad King. When I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. It felt like justice. Is that what you tell yourself at night? That you were avenging my father when you shove your sword in Ares Targaryen's back? Whatever. He Just... sees there Jamie sitting, and he doesn't ask what happened. He just says, you are a bodyguard for the king. You killed the king. This is against the law. I don't care. No mitigating circumstances. I don't have to understand what went on. You think the honorable Ned Stark wanted to hear my side? He judged me. Killed you the moment he set eyes on me. You broke the law. Mm -hmm. You broke the tradition, you broke your oath. You just said that, that Ned broke his oath to his king, Mad King. Burn them all! And then he lied to his king, his new king, Robert, about John and Lyanna. He broke his oath to whatever, to obey him. He broke his oath to his king. So, yeah, it's interesting because, in a way, he and Jamie were fighting for the same team. I mean, Jamie was mm. just doing what Ned was about to do. Right, but he wanted he to do it. He wanted to do it. He came in wanting to do that, and then Jamie had already done the job for him, so, you know, what's the problem? Right, but, and, it, uh, and it was for the greater good uh, to do it this way. Yeah. Ned just saved John. Right. <laughs> one, one person. He saved one person. He dishonored himself, okay, by lying and breaking his oath to his king. To save one person. Jamie saved the whole city. Mm -hmm. Thousands of people. Mm -hmm. That's the most honorable, and, and, and he was willing, you were saying before about respect, he was willing to lose respect for the greater good. Mm -hmm. So Jamie is way more honorable than, than Ned would ever be if we disregard the fact that he tried to kill an 80 year old. Mm -hmm. But that's the Kantian ethics, you know? That's like, um, you need to do what's right, and if you do what's right, then it will be for the greater good. If you do something that is against the law, like, uh, you know, killing, King's Lane, King, King then it's against the greater good because there's like this um, like invisible hand that directs everything and all we need to do is just be in order and then everything will be okay. Okay, but it's not how the world works. It's not how the world works. Like he doesn't judge his sister Liana that broke her oath to her dad, obey obeying her dad, marrying who, we who he said she should marry. Mm -hmm. But he does judge Jamie for breaking his oath even though Liana's breaking of oath led to a war, and Jamie's breaking of oath, his oath led to saving thousands of lives. So what the fuck is he talking about? I don't understand. Please, explain to me. That's one of the problems with Ned, I think, that um, in a way, understanding that different people have different motivations, and you know, sometimes they contradict each other, and they don't always combine to some, you know, greater good concept right. that right. everyone agrees on. And, Which is the uh, headline, Kingslaying. Yeah, that's it. Kingslaying, and that's wrong, that doesn't matter, you know, the, you know... Yeah, the, the circumstances, the, the context. The, the context and the, the consequences, you know? The, I mean, the, the rule of uh, the end result doesn't apply here. What applies here is uh, how you got there. Unless, unless it's Ned and his nephew, and then the end result is the most important thing. You right. have to save his nephew. Right, right. Yeah. When he's in the hole, uh, Varys comes in and they have this conversation. What do you want? Tell me. No riddles, no stories. Tell me, what do you want? I want you to serve the realm. And you could really feel his desperation because he really doesn't, doesn't know how to mentalize what other people might be thinking. With Cersei also, it's like, uh, in a way, he thinks that everyone thinks the same, the right way. There's only a right way, the Ned right. way of thinking. It's funny, I do it. Don't do it this way. Do one, 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 one. <laughs> okay, so he thought that Cersei would do what I would do, which is run away. She's like, no, I have something else I want to do, is kill you, yeah, <laughs> or imprison exactly. you. He was like, okay, Cersei did the wrong thing, 
once she realizes she was caught, she's going to do the right thing, you know, get back in on track. We have three main structures that over develop psyche. of our psyche that develop over time. Okay. It is like the like the um, animalistic part yeah, of yeah. ourselves. I mean, Robert is only it, right? He just wants to kill and fuck. He doesn't right. care about anything. Right. He's it. No, Next, no monetization now for this video. <laughs> Robert is only it. All he wants to do is take life and, uh, and copulate. <laughs> <laughs> Ned is in complete contrast to him. Ned symbolizes the, the super ego. Super ego, Value, like uh, values, values and morality, okay. uh, ideal and self, Ned. and this is Ned. Okay. If we are too much of a super ego, then we're too rigid, you know, we have yeah. to have everything in place. We're not practical. We're not practical. We're not pragmatic. Make peace with the Lannisters, you say. The people who tried to murder my boy. We only make peace with our enemies, my lords. No. I won't do it. So it will be Stannis and war. There is no other choice. And, and then, mm -hmm. Ned at the end, just before he, his head got chopped off, he was willing to throw all his uh, super ego values, throw them away, and, mm -hmm. and tarnish his own name by admitting to things that he did not do in order to save his two daughters. Right. So he was very practical, but when it comes to other people, he's not practical at all. He wants them to be super ego, and, mm -hmm. and himself, if I think that this is the right, the right way, this is what I'll do. Mm -hmm. If I think that this is the right way, I'll do the other, the opposite thing. Because it's always about protecting the children, right? right. So it's his children, the Targaryen children, mm -hmm. his, uh, his Daenerys, own children, John, and Daenerys, everybody. John, yeah, everybody's children. And uh, I mean, Jung, of course, again, and he would say that it's about the inner child, you know, because that's what Jung uh, would say. That's what Jung would say. Yeah. Okay. What would the police say? <laughs> what would the police say? <laughs> okay. So what interests me is how come we all love Ned, and even here in this video, I have to work myself up. To be annoyed at him, it's very hard work to be angry at Ned. Mm -hmm. what's, uh, what's there about him? I'm sure most of the comments will be, oh, he was very honorable because of blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I shouldn't dismiss <laughs> out of hand your comments, but people will not be, most people will not be uh, convinced by our arguments, I yeah. think. Uh, when you see someone who makes other people around them feel like uh, shit, feel like shit, feel like they're not worth anything, mm -hmm. Then, which is what Ned does, because which is he's so holy. Exactly. Everyone feels like shit around him. People hate him because he's so good. You know, that's very strange, isn't it? I mean, hating someone because they're so good. The Honorable Ned Stark. It's like Ned is holding on to the goodness, and all the others are left uh, is with being bad, yeah. you know? And even, even his sin of choice, must have been a rare wench to make Lord Eddard Stark forget his honor. He never told me what she looked like. Nor will I. And he's like so beat up about it, though. I can't believe it that I cheated, cheated on my wife, whatever. And people, everybody said, nah, it's not no big deal, no big deal. We were at war. None of us knew if we were going to go back home again. You're too hard on yourself. You always have been. Of course, everybody around him cheated on their wives. That's what lords do. It's not even cheating. Oh, Ned, not only is he so good, he's so that he's also, he did something that most people would find uh, meaningless, yeah. but he, th he thinks it, you know. What does like that the, say about me? What does it say about me? Do you know, I've never been with any woman but Cersei. So in my own way, I have more honor than poor old dead Ned. And by not telling Caitlyn who John is, he made her hate him. You hated that boy, didn't you? How could you not hate him? The walking, talking reminder that the Honorable Lord Eddard Stark fucked another woman. The fact that she can't be angry with Ned because he's so good, she takes it out on John. It's not his fault, of course. Yeah, he wasn't part of the thing that happened. He came later. Right, but but she can't be angry with Ned because no one can be angry with Ned because he's so good. So she she uh, uh, displaces her anger towards okay. Ned. Another thing is, of course, accepting that we all have good parts and bad parts. You know, that's the right. like accepting it in ourselves and in others. Right. 
our own limitations and other people's limitations. Yes. So, uh, yeah, he's not honorable or dishonorable. Mm -hmm. He's sometimes honorable, sometimes dishonorable, right. sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Let's wrap it up. Thank you, Nova. How do you feel about the net? Please mention in the comments. I want to thank our patrons, our existing patrons. Thank yes. You. Thank okay. You. I'm also a patron, so. Yes, she yeah. is. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, bye. And sure he is an honorable man. No, 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 no. Hey.